everyone my name is Stephanie welcome to my channel I haven't been on here in a while so it kind of feels weird like setting up the whole camera and everything and I'm actually doing it differently this time normally I would do it facing me and I would be looking weird and everything so we're gonna try this out so I'm pretty sure the frame probably isn't the best or it's probably not even focused correctly on my face or, but we're gonna we're gonna get better, we're gonna get better. Um, everyone go ahead and grab your coffee and everything and let's let's talk this morning. So I haven't been on here in a while. Um, I left YouTube, uh, for, uh, I wasn't doing it very long, but um, I've always wanted to do YouTube. Um, I've loved it, I, I love, like creating, I love pulling out the camera and doing motivational videos, like I'm, I'm meaning like cleaning motivation and things like that. Um, but it's like I hit, I hit a place in my life where I always found a reason not to. And I genuinely believe that it was because I just wasn't feeling myself. I haven't been feeling myself. Um, I recently started counseling um, and I'm viewing things in life at a whole different, in a whole different light. Um, it really helps to, if you've never been to counseling and you just are not feeling right about yourself, go do it because it will make you feel so much better. It's, it's different talking to someone who is not a family member or is not a friend or whatever the case may be. You can tell them everything that you want to tell them your deepest rawest feelings and there's no judgment there they're they're there to talk to you and to help you sort out your problems and this is not a therapy session i promise but <laughs> that is the reason why i am coming back is because i realized that i haven't been doing the things in my life that i love i've always loved youtube i always loved doing things creating things like that and I just stopped and that's not like me like I want to follow through with my life I want to do the things that make me happy and this is what makes me happy I love I love cooking videos I love cleaning videos I love vlogs I love all of it and I'm here to say that I am back and I am going to stick to it this time I'm not going to let things in my life uh, bring me back to that place where I don't want to do it or I don't desire to do it because that's you know I found out a lot of that that's what depression is though is you lose your desire to do things that you normally would want to do or normally would do um, that makes you happy in your life and this is what makes me happy in my life it really is um, a lot of things have changed in my life um, <clears throat> we had a lot of like medical things go on in the early part of this year um, I left this channel and started another channel and um, over there I was doing um, cookbook uh, like a cookbook challenge and I was going through the cookbook and randomly picking out recipes and I was having to cook those recipes well, as everyone knows, everyone knows out there in this world right now that grocery prices are ridiculous. And some of those things that I was making um, was actually making me worse. Um, so I, I suffer from a lot of like stomach issues. Uh, we do not know the answers to the stomach issues yet. Um, and we won't know for a while um, because of other reasons. but. Um, when I was making some things on there, I was willing to try like things with, um, heat in it, you know, like with some spice and stuff like that. And I realized that I can't do spice at all. Um, it, it hurts me for days. Like, um, I think I did, um, one of the first recipes that I did, it had jalapenos in it and I don't normally ever eat jalapenos. And I even did half of the amount that it said and I was sick for like a week straight like my stomach hurt it was cramping I I had like some chest pain like there is no way that I could eat things with spice in it apparently and I never knew that because I thought I just didn't like spice because it's something that I just don't 
normally eat or have around me or whatever. So um, that was a lesson learned, um, but I still gave it the effort and I still would make things that had a little bit of spice in it here and there. And it was literally hurting my stomach. So I said, okay, this is not for me. Um, one of the weeks that I started filming it <clears throat> was the week that I actually stopped because um, it required two meals that both had lamb in it. I went to the store, um, <clears throat> my closest store had lamb and it was like, you only got like two lamb chops for like $17 and they were, they were, they were, they were so, they were like that small. And I was like, are you joking? Like that is, that is just crazy. And I know that may not sound like a lot to some people. But for people like me or, or people that are even having harder times than us, that's that's just outrageous. And I am I do not believe in me going into debt. Like, everyone can do whatever they want. But for me personally, I can't go into further debt or spend too much money just to do something that I love. I, I can't I can't do that. Um, I We have a budget. I can't go off of that budget just for a video and I'm not going to do that so um, at the same time as all of that was happening so was medical things um, if you followed me over there and you watched those videos you know that I had a miscarriage and then I had another miscarriage so apparently um, I didn't even know that could happen but apparently it can um, coffee break ah, we need it today um I got pregnant on like February 6th or so as when I found out and then by the end of February I had a miscarriage and actually it was like towards like not like the last week but the week before that of um February and my mom also had a stroke and everything happened at one time everything happened at one time and it was sorry if I keep on like I think I have allergies bothering me today sorry about that um but then um come to find out I got pregnant again without even having um a period I didn't know that that was something that can happen but um I went to the doctors and they were like uh we don't know but your HCG levels went back up after going you know way down we think that uh you got pregnant again like as like like your body must have ovulated when you miscarried last time and it created a new pregnancy i was like that's even a thing and they said yes but um pretty much like don't don't be so don't be surprised if it doesn't last because when that happens sometimes since your uterus just shedded shed that it doesn't have anything to like hold on to. I'm paraphrasing. I don't know exactly what they said. It was a very sad time for me um, because it was just everything at one time that was going on. And most days I felt like I was just walking in a fog. Like I genuinely felt like I was just in a fog. I was confused. Oh, the foggy brain was just crazy. Um, I had days of like random confusion. Like I had a lot of days of pain, like I was in pain a lot in my lower stomach. Um, some days like I couldn't even sit up like straight without wanting to cry. Um, and that went on for like a couple of months, you know? And then I finally started feeling a, a little bit more normal come April. And then um, I, still, I still have been having a really hard time because of life, just life changes. And then um, now that I'm seeing my counselor, I'm, I'm feel, I am feeling a lot better. I hope that it's just the counseling that I really needed an outlet. Um, but, um, I'm pretty sure it's a couple of other things also that are helping me. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of medical things going on in the background, which I won't worry about talking about or anything today. Um, but that is why I haven't been here. That's why I haven't been feeling in the mood to create videos or make videos and things like that but I want to get back into it for sure and do uh, cleaning videos again cooking videos um, and I want to do some vlogs I would like to do shopping hauls I don't I don't think I've ever done a shopping haul on this channel at all I don't I don't think so so the next time that um, 
I do a grocery pickup or go to the store or whatever, um, I'll make sure to do a shopping haul. And I think the first video I have coming up after this is um, a weekend in the life with me. Um, I think we're going to be working in the backyard um, and things like that. So that should be interesting. Um, but uh, I hope you guys are glad that I'm coming back. I know I am. And um, I don't know exactly what all is in store. I'm kind of going with the flow right now and have to get used to doing any kind of editing and I want to I want to up my editing game like I, I want to get good at editing I don't want to be scared of editing or get nervous about editing no I want to embrace it and I want to learn new things about editing because that's one thing where I lack is editing like I always get so nervous to edit a video so I'm just like <laughs> Let's do the bare minimum, you know, and but I don't want it to be like that anymore. I want I want to do it, you know, I want to learn um, and I want to learn new things too about it. Like I don't want to uh, get bored with my creating, you know, I want to do something with it. So um, I hope that you guys are glad that I'm back. Um, and anyone that would like to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. Um, if not, I understand. Um, but hopefully all goes well. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.